So do, can we talk about the fact that it is genetic? Yeah. Is it inherited? Or is it a lifestyle thing, maybe? If you'd say, is it an aspect of nutrient deficiency? What do you think? So it's, it's an interesting question as well, because so the exact cause of why things happen, especially autoimmune, we don't know. Like iodine deficiency is clear that, you know, we know that when you don't have iodine, your thyroid gland kind of uh, grows bigger and tries to, you know, compensate for that. So that's a known cause. Like I said, that's a bit lower now, now that we've got iodized salt in the country. But uh, other causes, so there is usually um, the postulates now, like I said, the exact cause of this even autoimmunity, we don't really know. Okay. Okay, but what is postulated like all other autoimmune conditions, auto means self and immune is immunity against self, right? Okay, okay. They happen uh, because of a genetic predisposition, so there's a genetic component to it. It doesn't mean that your family member must have had it. Okay. You have a genetic predisposition, that means when you were born, you had that... Gene. risk already yes. there mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then on top of that there could be some environmental factors which could have triggered it so some things like uh, you know their postulates again a viral infection for example in the past mm -hmm. so what there is this is called molecular mimicry which means that you know you could have had a viral infection for example in the past mm -hmm. and your body recognized that as foreign and produced immunity to that like the soldiers were produced to that infection and then what happens is that this there's a part of this virus which looks like your thyroid gland. Catch the full story this Sunday on our YouTube channel, Health Talk Desk. Don't forget to subscribe and share.